Hi and welcome to MQW Driving School another video for Horsworth driving test. This is first time pass, very nice route, all in uh, dual carriageway, majority of the time all they spend it in dual carriageway with the sat nav driving starting outside the test center and it was a heavy rain. So main thing you need to remember for the heavy rain driving that don't drive slow without any reason. Many people think that when it's a rain, you can drive slow because it's rain. It's nothing like that. Rain does not mean drive slow. Rain means keep your four second following distance. Think early, look far and do the early brake because your car need a time to stop in the rain in a good distance to be see to be clear okay have a look he's doing a very good decision it's not rushing to move and uh, good meeting traffic so always think before you do your actions look assess decide an action don't rush examiner can see also there's no space you can go so don't rush they want you to do things safely relax calm and don't cause anybody any troubles okay that's how you do it so you go to the roundabout taking a first exit left Harrogate and joining 40 mile road ring road there was having a 20 mile sign for the road work which is finished this time now there's no 20 mile sign anymore so when you take this left turning you may see the road work sign but there's no 20 mile signs okay so if you don't see any 20 mile signs you make sure don't drive slow here just drive normal you can okay carry on see the large roundabout picture you going straight ring road York is a ring road stay in the left lane this left lane will become your middle lane also so when you get a bit closer you will see splitting into two then shift yourself to the right slightly and you will be in the middle lane automatically okay without any lane change you can be in the middle lane look on the right if there is no one don't hesitate and make sure when you move drive fast because you are going to enter in 70 mile dual carriageway so make sure when you move try to go from 0 to 30 or 40 mile quickly as possible and when you come to that sign then you can go more than 40 because before the roundabout you was on a 40 mile speed okay so when you move the roundabout you can go up till 40 when you pass the sign you can increase to the 70 mile dual carriageway if you these if you see someone in front of your car don't drive slow behind them if you think this empty on your right lane th and you can uh, overtake them easily then just look properly on your mirror signal blind spot and pass them and overtake them okay when you approach these signs these large triangles then make sure you look on the road ahead and see if the light is green then keep moving if the light is red then start checking your mirrors and prepare to slow down and stop 
because stopping last minute on the 70 mile road on this traffic light can be very hard okay after the light go green keep moving straight Now at this traffic light warning sign, now you're going to coming up to the traffic light junction, then you are turning left and uh, make sure you are driving on 70 mile road but soon you turn left that is 20 mile street and you can say it's 20 mile zone so everywhere you go after that will be 20 mile speed. It is a diff very different change from 70 you jumping into the slow speed 20. So sometime people don't recognize that they're driving still fast so you have to control your feet and make sure when you drive on the street don't drive more than 20 okay After coming to the street, this is, can be your first moving and stopping exercise because all the time you was on dual carriageway, so there's no way they can stop you on dual carriageway 70 mile. So this is the one chance they can do some moving and stopping in this street. Now, when they come on the street, they can go in any streets. It does not matter which street they use. So this can be your emergency brake exercise here. It can be your moving and stopping exercise on the left side. Then it can be moving and stopping to the right and reversing back. It can be the parallel parking okay so there's no guarantee where they go anywhere they can go it doesn't matter because all the roads are same all the streets are same okay so there's nothing special we can teach you here just drive 20 look what you're doing and do proper routine of MSPSL
Now this is where the student get the parallel parking. They moved off and stopped side by side and then they reversed back and then it was a little gap with the curb. Then student asked the examiner, do, am I allowed to do it again? Can I adjust? And examiner replied that do whatever you normally do. Okay. So that means if you think you need to adjust, just adjust. They are not there to tell you what to do. They are just there to assess you because you are on the test. You have to make your own decisions. Okay, so they are not going to tell you. If you think the gap is too big, you are allowed to adjust. Don't need to ask them. Just start adjusting and park the car nicely closer to the curb as possible without causing anybody any danger. Okay, so student decided to do the things by herself and uh, she managed to get closer to the curb and park it nicely. She got the minor mistake on parallel parking because she haven't done it properly in one attempt and also she was asking the examiner which gave a hint that maybe she did not know what she's doing okay so when the examiner can see that you're doing the proper steering where you should do like which angles you make which side you should be turning and is working in your favor they will wait for you to do it okay and if they think that you're not making any sense whatever you're doing you have no idea what you're doing maybe they will say thank you just continue and carry on don't need to do it so make sure think before you do something okay so look assess decide action don't just keep running your wheel right left right left without notice that what actually I'm doing where I need it okay always think which side the steering you need it and then do it but again it was a minor mistake but not a major mistake so she parked it properly so all good Now at the junction we are turning right then at the traffic light we are turning right and then next traffic light we are turning left okay this is 20 mile speed and turning left that will be 30 mile speed and after short time it will change back to 20 so make sure you watch the speed limits properly
At the mini roundabout turning left, still a 20 mile road, then continue straight ahead, another traffic light junction turning left again. Now this is where your 20 zone is finished and you are entering in 30 mile road so when you turn left from the traffic light you are driving on 30 miles and after some time period this 30 mile will change into the 40 mile speed. So they can do as much moving and stopping on 20 mile road, 30 mile road, 40 mile road so wherever they ask you to pull up find it is safe, safe convenient and legal place for you to stop so nothing special just do it properly when they say you to do it and check before you go when they ask you to move off. Now you're approaching to the roundabout first is just the bend roundabout starts somewhere here so don't get panic about anybody on the right they will wait for you so mirror signal left and take the first exit on the left if your signal got cancelled then make sure to do it redo it again so stay left outer circle mirror signal left don't worry about the street just go straight and now then you approach to one more roundabout you're going straight to this roundabout second exit watch for the road signs watch for the road marking if you want to go straight you need to use the right hand lane left hand lane is only to turn left so that is something you have to remember and watch the signs they are there to remind you if you're going straight you need to stay right lane
Now you're approaching one more roundabout. You are going to take the first exit left. This is not count as an exit. This is just the start of the roundabout. And this street is your number one exit. Okay, so mirror signal left. Go in the street and you are back to 20 mile zone road. Now everywhere you go here again, you drive on 20 mile speed. Now you back to the same traffic light which you just did it before. Last time you was turning right and going left, but this time you are turning right and then you are going straight to the dual carriage road which is 70 mile dual carriageway road. After that drive faster, don't drive slow and keep the 4 second following distance with the other car. Don't drive close to them from behind. Don't do any tailgate from behind to any other cars on your front. When you take the right turn, make sure if the next stretch of the traffic light is red, stop. If it's green, keep on moving.
Now one more roundabout going straight, second exit, just keep in the left lane, this will split into two, then you go in the middle lane, middle lane will go straight, second exit, but that is where the speed change now, okay, speed is not 70 anymore, this is a 40 speed signs, watch the signs, and after that is 40 miles speed. Continue straight from the traffic light and then you will see another roundabout soon. At the, round, at the roundabout, take the third exit on the right. You can keep the car a little bit to the right side of the road, do the proper mirror signal. It's hard to see the road markings in the wet weather, so make sure you focus on the road signs and road marking more. What for any emergency vehicle coming from any side, look for them, give them away. And when it's clear, don't hesitate. And then just go from your right in a circle, then from second exit, shift to outer circle with proper mirror signal and then you back to the center and I said this is a first time pass so if somebody drive like this in their test in the rain on a dual carriageway follow the same instance same kind of driving it's all good to drive but everyone have their own circumstances every time the road situations are different every time the roads are different traffics are different weathers are different so don't copy anybody I always say to anyone don't copy anybody you cannot fix the same rules 
and say that why it works for him why it did not work for me okay so you have to see what's going on on the road on the day of your test and you have to follow and focus on that day and that time the situations thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video don't forget to share and subscribe my channel with your other friend and family who is thinking of doing the test in Leeds, Hare Hill and Horsforth.